This turned over tractor trailer full of booze blocked traffic for hours today in Johnston County. A truck transporting tequila and vodka rolled early this morning on Highway 70 in the county. It took about eight hours to clear and clean the scene. CBS North Carolina's Robert Richardson spent today at the crash site. Police and one of the driver's co-workers told me he's okay. Got checked out at a local hospital after suffering a minor bump to the head. On the other side of things, a bunch of broken bottles. And I found out that none of the surviving cases can even be sold. Tow truck drivers formed a bucket line to remove one by one each case of vodka and tequila from this overturned tractor trailer. That's the floor on the left and the roof on the right. They restacked and rewrapped all of the boxes on pallets, lifted onto another truck to return to Greensboro, but I found out the contents of all of these bottles will end up down the drain. A representative for New Amsterdam Vodka told me once the product leaves their manufacturing facilities for a third party distributor, it's up to the distributor to decide what happens in cases like this. I learned from a driver who came to retrieve the recovered cases for Raven Transport that the company can't risk the possibility of any shards of glass ending up in stores or bars. He told me it's all about protecting the public and was relieved no one was hurt in the crash. A person passing by the wreck site right after it happened was able to help the driver get out of the overturned cab of the truck. At least three towing companies worked the scene. One towing company manager said they found out they couldn't upright everything at once, so they detached the cab and flipped it up first before having to unload the trailer in order to get it back on its wheels to haul away. Clayton fire crews cleaned up a small oil spill and there were not any pools of alcohol on the road. Police told me there weren't any problems with people potentially trying to steal bottles, but there were some issues with drivers ignoring the roadblocks. The Department of Transportation finished clearing this area about 2 this afternoon, so the afternoon evening rush hour going much better than this morning's when drivers dealt with delays due to the congestion caused by closed lanes with the truck overturned. In Clayton, Robert Richardson, CBS North Carolina.